Okay, I'm back with just a kind of a, just a quick update in general of the things I'm doing, and you know, just thought I'd show uh, you know some of the things uh, you know maybe some of you might get a kick out of uh, you know some of the other projects and things I'm doing uh, in between times as I'm working on the ColecoVision projects. Uh, but I took the last week off uh, from program a CV tracker, and I uh, just was trying to relax a little bit and uh you know wanted to get a couple other projects done which is this thing right here um and just thought I'd show everyone kind of quickly um basically what I did was uh for some of the iPad stuff that I had uh it's kind of dark in here unfortunately I'm sorry uh, I had one of those uh iCades uh that you you know it's a goofy thing that you put your iPad in the top and you play a, you know a couple of Atari games or you know or I suppose if you wanted you could you know, jailbreak your iPad and, you know, put MAME on it. Um, but anyways, what I thought would be funny was uh, I have no interest in putting my iPad in it and I got this, like, really cheap on clearance after Christmas. Uh, so what I thought would be funny is to actually turn it into a real JAMA system. Uh, so right over here, over the last two days, I kind of whipped up um, a uh, super gun JAMA system. Um, <clears throat> so the harness and everything, the video converters in this box right here. Uh, here's your typical standard PC power supply where you just, you know, splice and get the power run into the uh, the JAMA harness. And I got my uh, Neo Geo MVS uh, single slot system with one of the multi-game 108 and 1 cartridges which has all of these games on it, which is pretty neat. Um, so this is what I had running in the basement, um, actually the garage, I'm sorry, uh, arcade. But uh, you know, in the winter time it gets a little cold to be in there, in the summertime you really don't want to be in there because it's too hot and stinks like garbage uh, in the uh, garage. So I've been kicking around the idea of just building a simple little JAMA rig system to be able to play games on the uh, TVs up in my office. So anyways, here it is. Uh, I'll fire it up, and uh, I got, uh, it's connected through VGA over there. There's the uh, Chinese uh, video board uh, that uh, converts the uh, signal from the arcade video over to something that you can use on a computer monitor. There's also video converter boards available that will allow you to play arcade games on your TV using uh, uh, composite as a video or component. But uh, those boards start to get a little bit pricey. The VGA board that I have in here is a $40 converter board. And um, so anyways, uh, so I got it up and running. There's the multi-cart uh, menu. I'll move over in just a second. But uh, um, oh, the other thing that I did also was, can't really see it here. I'll see if I can turn it slightly for the light. Well, not really. But anyways, in here I have a speaker. I actually mounted an arcade. <clears throat> speaker, as you can see the back of it, right there, into the back of this, so that way I get real sound out of this. And I uh, wired up the uh, four buttons here, uh, and this is your player one start and your coin in, and then of course the joystick, as you can see, it's moving those. So it is a full functional JAMA system at this point, and uh, yeah, I'll just fire up uh, uh, any game. I don't know, here's a Metal Slug. Three and uh, as you can see there, there you go. And uh, here's the, uh, the sound coming from there. I'll put some coin, put some coins in it. Start the game. But uh, I'm gonna we'll start the game. So as you can see, it's uh, fully functioning. Yeah, and uh, for any of you, uh, okay, so by the way, yeah, I'm gonna hold these two buttons in. Okay, 
for any of you who actually do get or are thinking about getting one of these multi uh, cartridges, they only work in the arcade hardware. They uh, don't play on a home system. Um, you know, I suppose there might be a way to convert the cartridge. And uh, from what I heard, there is a uh, oh boy, I can't remember the name of it now. The, oh, Phantom Converter, it's called. That converts uh, MVS arcade cartridges to play on uh, AES. Neo Geo systems, home systems, but this cartridge, from what I understand, uh, doesn't work on uh, those converters very well. So that was the other push for doing this, is I well, would like to be able to play 108 Neo Geo games uh, in my office and not have to go to my arcade in the garage all the time if I want to play them. Um, what you just saw me do was, if you hold these two buttons, uh, player one, uh, start, and uh, coin in. If you hold them for a couple seconds it will uh, restart the cartridge back to the menu without having to power down the system which is a really nice uh, addition you know for this uh, cartridge. What I like about this one also by the way is uh, you know you're actually playing the software on the real Neo Geo hardware so it's not like it's emulation it's actually just you know a real copy of the actual game so it plays the way you would expect it to. Um, but that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show what I've been up to lately and uh, you know, hope if anyone got a kick out of this or if anyone's looking to build a super gun, uh, as they refer to these JAMA systems, you know, you know, let me know. But here's a uh, mark of the wolves. As you can hear the sound is playing. And I'll, I'll get a little closer so you can see the video quality. So as you can see it looks great. Okay, so that was it, and uh, again just wanted to show it off, and to see what everyone thought, and uh, just, you know, whatever. Uh, the only thing really that I should, should really do is because the Neo Geo is in stereo, I should probably really mount the uh, other speaker to get proper stereo sound out of this, but other than that, uh, that's it. That's my little uh, weekend project, and uh, so that's that. Okay, I will... Uh, post another video sometime later. Uh, very likely it will be ColecoVision related and uh, hopefully it will be in the next uh, you know, half week to a uh, week. Okay, talk to everyone later. Bye.